To determine whether NaBr is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we need to know is the neutralization reaction that would produce the NaBr, the sodium bromide. For that to happen, we'd have sodium hydroxide plus hydrobromic acid. They would neutralize each other. We get this sodium bromide in water. It's a neutralization reaction. Let's see. So we need to know the strength of the base and of the acid in order to use the rules. So let's look that up. We have on our table here, sodium hydroxide. That's a base and it's right here. That's a strong base. So I'm going to write SB on top of that. HBr, hydrobromic acid, is right here. That's a strong acid. So we'll write Sa top of that. So now we know the strength of each of these substances. If we have a strong base, like our sodium hydroxide, and a strong acid, like the hydrobromic acid, when they neutralize each other, they'll form a salt, sodium bromide. Because we have a strong base and a strong acid, that pH, it's going to be neutral. It's going to be at 7. So according to our rules here, when we have NaBr dissolved in water, solution will be neutral. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.